So we will get started here. Uh, why we exist. We are preparing highly skilled, experienced individuals that uh, the market desperately needs. Uh, there is no time more evident than what we are in right now that shows the need for creative problem solvers, critical think thinkers, and highly skilled individuals. Um, we could not have a more clearly evident situation than we do now that we have a very serious need for, for thinkers who are ready to innovate and actually take us to the next level. So we, we do train and educate in those capacities here at Apprentice University, and we'll continue to talk about that. We also train in agility and resourcefulness. Again, uh, we are incredibly agile at Apprentice University. All of our apprentices are still working right now remotely. Uh, they did it without missing a beat. Uh, when other college campuses have all emptied, we are still up and running. Just like usual, we are just having to do more online than we typically would. So we are very agile and resourceful, and so are all of our students here. We also encourage lifelong learning. We think it's incredibly important. There is knowledge at our fingertips 24-7. It's just a matter of who's willing to take that knowledge and then apply it. And we also foster entrepreneurial mindsets at Apprentice University. We believe that obviously that is um, really important that we have people who want to start and run businesses. And more than anything, we are boldly preparing students who are going to be intentionally extraordinary in whatever path they choose to go. How we work, this is just a brief overview and then we are gonna touch on every single one of these subjects here in just a moment and a little more in depth. We have planned apprenticeships. We are market-driven uh, education, training in, in skills that the market is requiring. We have industry design certificates. We typically always have seminar-style classes. Those seminar-style classes have recently gone online, still seminar-style. Integrated cohort learning, and more than anything, we are all about passion and perseverance. So what does it mean that we are education unrestricted? Well, that means we actually are free from government bureaucracy. Uh, we are not accredited. We are not seeking accreditation. We truly believe that that whole model is broken. Uh, we have serious issues because of it. And we can, uh, being free of any kind of red tape, we are able to quickly move along with the market. So when we see what is going on at the cutting edge of innovation, we are right there with it. We are market driven again. The market is our accreditation. Our corporate partners want our apprentices. They are hiring our apprentices as are other companies all over. We are dr driven by the demand for young talent. Companies have a problem, a very serious problem in that they cannot find and hire the talent that they need. Having a piece of paper does nothing for them. It shows them nothing except a piece of paper. They are needing people who actually have skills that they have used and applied in the types of areas in which they are needing people to do work. There is also no wasted time or wasted money at Apprentice University at all. Like I said, we are still up and running. Our students are out doing everything that they normally do uh, here at Apprentice University. Uh, because that's how we run. We are, we are out in companies, they're out in companies working, working, excuse me. And as you'll see here in just a little bit, we are uh, attacking the idea of college debt so that our students are not taking on any, ad debt, on any debt. We also have high expectations of personal conduct, which we'll talk about here in a moment. These are just some uh, quick stats that help tell our story a little bit more. We are very, very highly knowledgeable in the apprenticeship model. Uh, this number actually has changed recently. We are up to about 140 planned apprentices. That means we have arranged them, we've managed them, orchestrated everything about them, successfully gotten through 140 individual apprenticeships. We know what we're doing when it comes to apprenticeships. Uh, we also 
have uh, 65 corporate partners that we, we've engaged with over the years throughout central Indiana. And we have had over 100 plus business professionals who've led workshops, training sessions, and, and seminars. And that number just keeps going up as we continue on. Um, this number is also going up after this session. We have des designed and delivered over 60 14 week live classes for our students. We have over 25 professionals who have instructed live classes over the last three years alone. We'll talk about more about why that is important here in a moment. Uh, just as a quick stat, we've had over 60 high school students engaged in our Jumpstart program since 2016. They are inside our Apprentice University courses right alongside our apprentices. We have had over 30 plus individual student work projects with outside organizations in addition to our corporate partners. So those are different organizations that our students have worked with other than our corporate partners. We have had five students who have created and launched student run businesses here at Apprentice University. And we currently have about 35 employees on payroll and in just a couple months when we launched Discovery Cohort, which we can tell you more about later on, uh, we engaged with uh, quickly over 12 uh, tax exempt organizations to do projects for them. So how do our apprenticeships work? Well, first, we are not involved in the skill trades at all. Um, our apprenticeships are brought forward from the idea that you need to learn what you're doing from skilled professionals who have been doing it for a while. We've taken that model and we put it in what is now being considered, I think, the new collar jobs, uh, jobs, current jobs and jobs of the future. These would be your professional areas such as marketing, um, IT administration, software, cybersecurity, uh, executive assistant, pro, pro, uh, project management, sales, uh, many different areas. So these apprenticeships are scheduled with our corporate partners. Uh, they last on average five to six months. So our students engage in, in our corporate partners. They are working Monday through Thursday, approximately 32 hours a week inside our corporate partners. Uh, they typically last five to six months, as I said, and we like for our students to have about five or six individual apprenticeships throughout their time in Apprentice University. So if you add that up, you do the math, you'll see that that can add up to about 4,000 hours of on the job experience. That is the kind of typical uh, experience employers are looking for when they're looking to hire young talent. Um, some students choose to stay on a bit longer because they like other apprenticeships. Some are a little bit less. It, end up, it ends up being about two and a half years, the entire apprentice program. And it's very individualized. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Our apprenticeships are paid. We do everything we can to have apprenticeships paid. All of our apprentices currently out in our corporate partners are being paid. Um, it is a very rare situation and, and happens very rarely that there's a situation that an apprentice might want some specific skills and uh, we agree that uh, there's a situation where there's a small short apprenticeship that needs to be unpaid just because of what it is. But our model is that our apprentices are working Monday through Thursday, 32 hours a week and getting paid to do so. Our company mentors engage with students throughout their graduation and beyond. I just actually heard yesterday that one of our uh, graduated apprentices who graduated in January uh, is working with one of our corporate partners and he actually was just having online coffee with one of his mentors from about a year ago in Apprentice University. So our mentors do engage throughout their time and afterwards. If you have any more questions, this is a very, very high level overview of how this works. So if you have questions, please, please add them to the chat and I can address those, or you are always welcome to contact us after any of the sessions or, or beyond. Paige, is there anything I need to address at the moment? 
Okay. Uh, these are just a few of the logos of some of our corporate partners. Uh, you'll see there's a wide variety and that is key is we engage with corporate partners in many different industries. Um, you'll see landscaping up here, you'll see heating and air conditioning, you will see uh, marketing, you'll see all kinds of different things. You'll see robotics. Um, there are some high level tech companies on here uh, because our students uh, are not, our apprentices are not engaged in the learning of heating, and cooling systems, nor are they out doing landscaping, but they are, they are engaging in apprenticeships that are in other departments of those, those businesses that all businesses have to run, whether it be in their accounting back office, run office, um, marketing departments, uh, you name it, and they're working in those areas. You will see on here too, some, a couple that maybe some of you are familiar with, Traders Point Creamery and Shotmer Prime Pork. We do have a requirement for our students called the GRIT experience that every apprentice goes through and it is a three week unpaid apprenticeship at one of our farms. We believe it is incredibly uh, valuable for students to understand what true hard work really, really means, what grit is. Uh, I will tell you that we are getting to the point where it's it very hard for our, our apprentices to make it to the farm just because our corporate partners demand them, uh, they want them there with them, and, and it, it's, it's hard to manage the calendars, but it is still a requirement when we can make it happen that each apprentice goes to one of our farms for an experience and everybody ends up loving it. It's one of the favorite things all of our apprentices do. We have apprenticeships in a variety of different career fields. Uh, this is just a tiny little, little screenshot of what we do. Sales, marketing, cybersecurity, project management, membership assistance. Uh, we have IT ad administration. There is just about anything. Um, Paige Ron, if you want to jump in and and say anything else you're welcome to at this time, but go ahead, Ron. Sure, I would just say that the list, if we had to create a list of the types of apprenticeships that our students have undertaken, we'd be here all day. Uh, it's a very, very long list with a outstanding list of companies here in Central Indiana that you just saw with uh, just dedicated corporate partners and mentors within those organizations, really investing in our students. And when you see what it says, look in the experience binder, we do, we do have an online and a physical binder where we allow people to look through all of the different experiences over the past just year and a half because we can only keep it up for about a year and a half at a time because it gets too large uh, with all the apprentice experiences. Uh, we do use digital certificates and digital badges. Okay, so we have built out a very prolific badging system. Uh, each badge, and I'll show you the uh, Prentice University Foundation Certificate in just a moment. Each badge has a rubric that is assigned to it. Each rubric has a list of skills criteria, individual skills criteria, anywhere from three to 25 individual skills criteria. So students know exactly what they are trying to earn at any given moment. So the reason we do digital badges is, is several fold. One of it is that we do not do uh, testing nor grades at Apprentice University. Uh, we know uh, we do everything real world and market driven and we know that once you step outside of academia you are not given letter grades uh, for performance. It is actually about what you have accomplished. So have you met the expectations? Have you exceeded the expectations? Or are you falling short of expectations? That is how performance is typically uh, reviewed outside of the academic world. And so we model the same thing here at Apprentice University by doing everything applied knowledge. And so our digital badges are set up so that students can show their work. They apply their knowledge produce work product, and that is how uh, you earn your digital badges. It is skills acquired uh, anywhere and everywhere. 
uh, typically most of skills are, are found on the job. Also within our classes, uh, there are opportunities to apply your knowledge and show your, that you have successfully accomplished your skills. And oftentimes students come to us with a whole bucket of their own skills that they already have. Um, we are very much about moving forward. So if you come to Apprentice University and you have skills in areas and demonstrate the, the application of those skills, we do not say, oh, I'm sorry, but you need to go sit in another 14 week class or you need to go th do this and you need to do that over and over and over again. That's a waste of time. What I said up front is our students don't waste time here. Uh, if you have skills that you have accomplished and work product and that is great, we move forward. We want you gaining more skills all the time. The badges that our students earn remain with them online in perpetuity. So our students are issued what is called a digital backpack as they're earning their badges. They exist in a digital backpack. It is a specific individualized URL that each apprentice has that they have then forever. And you can show this, share this with anyone that you so choose. And it is a very quick, thorough way to show the skills that you have rather than just a piece of paper saying that you've went through some classes you actually have lists of skills that you have accomplished and artifacts uh, attached showing your work product we have an apprentice university foundation certificate that all of our apprentices must earn in order to be eligible for graduation and on top of that we have many industry designed certificates that I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Um, we actually have professionals who are working in the industries. So for instance, cybersecurity, we have a cybersecurity certificate. Um, we had people who work in cybersecurity here at a couple of the premier companies and they designed the entire certificate, again, market-driven education. This is what the market wants. These are the people who are hiring uh, other people. So they came, they designed their certificate, they designed every single badge that went into the certificate and every single skill that they want someone to possess to hire within every single one of those rubrics. This is, an ex this is our uh, foundation certificate, the one I said that all of our apprentice must earn. If you look on the outside edges, those are the individual badges. You will see that they are then collected in groupings of somewhat similar uh, types. You'll see that we have power skills. I will tell you those are the things that we require all of our apprentices to be skilled in before you're able to go out in any kind of apprenticeship. These are things that are just absolutely required in our modern day work world. It does not matter what career field you're going into. Uh, you need to be familiar and capable in those power skills. As I said before, um, we are very, very uh, adept at training in and the expectation that all of our students can ideate, can innovate. They are critical thinkers. They are trained in a creative problem solving methodology. That is what employers want. They want people who can think and who are creative and who are willing to innovate with them. Obviously in our world, it's called VUCO. It's volatile, it's changing uh, all the time. And people need people who are willing to think outside of the box and think creatively. Uh, we also train in personal skills. Etiquette is hugely important. Um, we, we want you to be lifelong learners. You'll see that we have fundamental knowledge groupings over there. Those are courses we offered. Sitting in a course does not earn a badge. Again, like I said, we don't do tests. Um, our, our instructors are not standing up in front of a whiteboard, jotting all kinds of things down for you to hurry up and take notes so that you can go back, memorize everything, and come back the week later and regurgitate on the test. They are actually in requiring you to be present, to engage in conversation, and then to imply at the end of uh, the session what you're learning through a capstone project and presentation. 
Uh, at Apprentice University, you get plenty of opportunity to work on teams and be in leadership roles. And we also uh, know what the market needs and that most people uh, at your generation, meaning 16 to 30, 35, are going to be self-employed at some time or another. Uh, so you are going to need to understand what it's like to blog, do social media. Uh, you're going to need to have your own website. You have to be able to market yourself, not just a service or product. Again, this is a very quick fire hose overview uh, of what we do here. This is the foundations certificate that everybody earns. It doesn't matter what you want to do in your career path or in your life, all of these skills have been deemed by organizations as being critical. The Department of Workforce Development several years ago uh, put out a survey to thousands of businesses and said, what is it that is absolutely required regardless of the industry? And they came up with a, a employability skills rubric. We took that as our base, base level and then built off of that for our foundation certificate. Other certificates we have, and I don't know if I have a slide in here of them, let me see. Nope, so the other certificates we have include, as I said, uh, in Page and Run, you can help me, uh, cybersecurity, professional sales, project management, IT administration, software development, digital, digital storytelling, story um, yep. mar marketing is to come. I'm trying to think of all the other ones. I may, I hit on some of the, the larger ones. So again, if there's any questions, let me know. This is fast and furious right now, what we're doing. As I said, seminar style classes. Uh, this is one of our instructors right here, Craig DeHutt, one of our beloved instructors. Uh, they are discussion-based format. So what that means is every instructor has designed their class and have asked students to prepare things ahead of time, whether it be reading or as in Craig in his digital storytelling classes, it may be actually doing video and coming with some sort of video. And then you come to class and you're discussing those, you're, you're, you're going through your projects, you're talking about your reading, and, and it's all about what you do with that information. It's skills mastery, not grades. The course content is designed to work through several different rubrics per class. So you are given the opportunity to be able to show, to demonstrate your skills accomplishment by the capstone projects that the instructors have, have put into place for the end of the sessions. And I will tell you the cap, capstone day, we have one coming up on May 1st. Um, we are really hopeful that we will be able to be back together to have those live in person. But even if not, we'll still go forward. The capstone days are amazing. What, what students come forward with for those presentation days, it's just those are such amazing things to watch. We do have students who are in learning cohorts. It aids their progression. And in most of the classes, you have an opportunity to work in different teams as well. I'm not sure if there's any questions about that or if Paige or Ron want to add anything. Later today at noon, we will be having a live session with a few of our instructors. So we encourage you to come to that session as well. I know we have three, if not four of them coming in who are going to talk with you live about what, why they're instructors here at Apprentice University and about their classes. So we encourage you to do that. We also will send out a recording of different instructors that we had last week in a live session so that you can, it's a whole different set of instructors so that we'll give you that link so that you can see that session as well. Mrs. Merle mentioned in this uh, slide that our courses are about mastery, not grades. We don't believe that tests and grades represent uh, academic gain or knowledge gain. It, m it represents memorization. And we know for a fact that that's not learning. Everybody knows that's not learning. Uh, it's the demonstration of the skills that you've learned in the course. So we talk about not having tests and grades, and, and it's true, we don't do tests and grades. It's about that capstone project that represents the body of knowledge that you gained while you're in that course. And it's a big deal to understand how we're very different in that regard. 
As I mentioned, we we love cohorts. We believe that iron sharpens iron and being together with a group of people who are involved in similar activities and going through our program really helps. Prentice University is a very difficult path. Uh, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I want to take the easy way out, then this is probably not for you. We're going to be honest. Self-motivation is one of the key ingredients that we look for in students when we interview them for our apprentice program. Uh, we do bring them on in cohorts, and it's because it is a difficult, difficult model of education. We, it is the best model, and, and we believe that it is amazing when students are successful, and we love to see them encourage one another. It aids in accountability and candor. Our students actually learn to take constructive criticism and not get upset about it, but actually desire it and to do something with it, to better themselves. They incur we encourage the community building. It helps everyone's progression. And everyone within the cohort has an ability not only to be on the team, but then to take a leadership role. Students quickly find out who is skilled in what areas. And everybody seems to have their own bents. And so it really ends up being a great thing when you can lean on someone else who's strong in one area that you're not as strong in. And this also fosters problem solving and critical thinking skills. Again, uh, we can talk more about that, but if you're looking at our post high school apprenticeship program, we are going to be onboarding our next cohort in June. And so we are filling that cohort right now. We want you to get an application in right away if you're interested in our June cohort. This is a very simple tuition model. We've made our tuition model incredibly simple and straightforward. This is for the apprentice program. It is uh, when you will complete an application form, we get the application. It's more than just a checkbox. You actually have a lot of questions to answer. We ask that you be very thorough in answering those questions because it is key that we get to know you. We are going to eventually, hopefully, put you out in our corporate partners, and we want to know what, uh, who, what and who you are. So we ask that you really do a thorough job completing your application. Once that application is in, we will call you in for an interview. Based on an interview, we'll decide if this is a great model for you and if you're going to work for us. And if so, we will invite you to become a student. There is a, 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 a very different situation here at Prentice University because there are two different roles uh, that our students have. You first are enrolled just like anywhere else as a student and you become an applying apprentice where that is your tuition during your applying phase it's just a flat $500 a month. Uh, you will go through onboarding and then what you are doing from then that period on it can be anywhere from a couple weeks to 13 weeks depending on your skill level and how quickly you gain your skills. Like I said, with the power skills, we need to be able to show our corporate partners that you are learning and learning quickly and that you are capable of walking into to the job, even if you don't have all of the skills that you need, uh, but that you have enough that they know that you're going to be able to sit in front of a computer and do what's needed if that's part of the job. The next level is onboarding apprentice, and that's when you have proven your skill level and where we're, we are ready to interview you. And if we interview you again successfully, that means that you are then hired by Apprentice University. And you are still enrolled as a student, but you are now hired as an apprentice. And that is the dual role that you will then have throughout your time in the apprentice program. Our apprentices remain our employees the entire way that they go as they walk through the apprentice program. It makes it very easy then for our corporate partners. We just put them in and out of our corporate partners. We take care of all the HR paperwork. Uh, and that's how, that's the simplicity of how we run. Uh, once a student is out on their paying apprenticeship, then the tuition goes up to a flat $920 per month. Um, it is monthly. We don't have you pay tens of thousands of dollars up front. It is just monthly. When you're on your paid apprenticeship, even at the beginning apprenticeship level, you are earning about 30 to 32 hours 
uh, per week, again, and you're earning about $1,100, uh, we cannot adjust for taxes, right? That's out of our control. But you are, even as a beginning apprentice, just about at that tuition level. Uh, there are, there is a progression through Apprentice University, so you have two uh, chances to go through a, uh, a presentation day, we call it promotion day, where you present your case to your mentor panel to be promoted. If you're promoted along with that, there comes a small raise, and so there's two of those uh, before you are eligible for what we call judgment day, it's our graduation day. Uh, so again, it is market driven. It's just like the market you need to prove why you should be promoted and therefore um, have a raise alongside that. Um, again, this is a high level overview, but this is a really simple model of tuition. Uh, so if you have questions, please let us know. We would be happy to explain it to you. I'm going to let Mr. Brumberger talk about our income share agreements here. And I don't have that <laughs> right here, but go ahead if you would do that. Sure, we, we've had on board now for uh, almost two years, uh, what's called income share agreements. And income share agreements uh, <clears throat> enable a student to basically defer, uh, a student who's been on board and, and has proven they're going to uh, stick with us. Uh, you know, they've been with us uh, several months, uh, but they basically can defer a portion of their monthly tuition until such time as they've graduated <clears throat> and they have about six months of working experience under their belt or so. Uh, and at that point then, they start repaying that amount which was deferred, but it's based on a percentage of their gross earnings. Um, so in other words, we're putting our money where our mouth is and ensuring that we're, you know, hopefully, we're gonna get repaid uh, that amount of, of tuition money that you deferred, uh, but then uh, you, have, you pay it back when you actually have an income, right? Not when you don't have an income, uh, so we're basically pushing that off and saying, hey, we believe in you and we're willing to um, invest in you in that when you finally have a full-time job and you're making a bunch of money, then you can start paying it back. And at that point, the amount of money that you're paying back is probably insignificant on your, on your personal cash flow. And so this is just our way of, again, attacking what we feel is incredibly important, and that is the college debt. Um, it's a real problem we have. And so all of our apprentices, they would tell you that they don't, they're not taking on any debt to go through in, in Apprentice University. I am now going to go through some slides that I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to do it for the purposes of the recording. We've kind of gone through all of this just now. Whoops. <laughs> uh, just now, I talked about all of these all on that one slide. And again, we've given you a lot. There's a lot here. Yes. <laughs> a very intricate program. Uh, and there are a lot of moving parts, but uh, we've been at it for quite some time now. We have a very uh, integrated model that really truly ensures a successful student at the end of their career with us. Uh, we also have a, a Precious University Foundation uh, that is, uh, tuition is paid through our foundation and oh there's the income for agreements that I had you talk about already but this is a uh, more information on that that I'll put up here on the slide for you to read and for it to be in our recording today we offer some other programs jumpstart program is our program for high school students who can join as I said into our classes our live classes with our apprentices on Friday we have a discovery program that is open to everyone you don't have to be a student here uh, to engage in discovery. All of our applying and onboarding apprentices actually are involved in discovery as well. That is the program where they are actually doing real work and producing real work product, uh, either for us here at Apprentice University or other uh, the not-for-profit organizations that we partner with to do work for them. And then we are launching actually on Tuesday, next Tuesday, Mentor School. So um, this is for professionals who are interested in, in becoming mentors, and we also have a mentee portion with that. Uh, again, this was a very, very quick and flyover version of what we do here at Apprentice University. Um, we wanted to put this out in order for you then to engage in the live classes, the live sessions later today. 
with other people. So again, um, Paige, is it 10 or 10.30 that we'll have Ron on with us? I guys? believe it's 10. 10? Okay. So we really invite you to come in. Oh, and, no, I'm oh, sorry. It's 10.30. It's 10.30. That's what I thought. Okay, 10.30. We invite you to come in. Uh, this is a truly ask me anything session where you can ask the founder and president exactly what questions that you have. Um, it is a no holds bar kind of thing as are our other live sessions later today. So at noon, as I said, we will have some of our instructors in with us. We will be asking them a lot of different questions and allowing them to talk about what it's like here at Apprentice University. At 3 p.m., we will have a couple of our corporate partner mentors with us today. I think we've got at least two, uh, one or two, we might have three. Uh, but we will be talking with them and about what their experience has been being mentor, a mentor and uh, being a corporate partner of Apprentice University. Uh, after that session, again, we actually met with a couple other par partners last week in our live preview. So you will be giving a, given a link to that recording as well with a couple different mentors and our corporate partners. And then we really encourage you at 5.30 to come back online with us because we will have four of our apprentices who will be here live with us answering all kinds of questions. Again, it is an ask me anything. That session is so very important because we really believe that it is the apprentices themselves who can answer all of your questions about what it's like to go through Apprentice University. Um, we also have some graduates who are willing to talk and would love to talk with you that we can give you contact information for. Uh, they, they are engaged here still and they like to talk to potential students as well about what it was like to go through the program and about the careers that they have chosen. So we really hope that we will see you throughout the day. If you have anybody else you think might be interested, go ahead and give them the link. I'm here all day long and ready to take questions. You can go on to our website and click the contact us button. That will get us, get you immediately to us and we will be able to engage with you that way. Um, also, I think on our, you'll see a phone number. You can call that as well. But we really are here to engage with you and answer all of your questions as this was just a real flyover version of what we do. It's hard to take in so much information, so we need to do it. We do it in small segments because it's very hard to wrap your head around how everything works. So if there are no questions, Paige, are there any questions to address at this point in time? Okay, then we'll sign up for right now and hopefully see you again here in the next hour or so. Okay. Bye for now. Thank you.